What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another product review video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna take another look at the Gus Buster umbrella. So of course, without further ado, let's check out these umbrellas, see what's so special about them, and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So nearly five or six years ago, I reviewed the Gus Buster umbrella, and today we are going to revisit them again with their entire new lineup of umbrellas for 2022. So what's so special about the Gus Buster umbrella? Well, I'm sure many of you who have an umbrella or had an umbrella have experienced some point in your lifetime of your umbrella failing because of the wind, inverting, or anything in between like that, where your umbrella just lets you down and eventually ends up in the trash. Many, many years ago, Gus Buster decided to bring out an umbrella that doesn't just protect you from the rain, but also is designed to resist wind and keep protecting you from the rain without letting you down. Now, before I go through Gus Buster's lineup of umbrellas here, let's check out the design of them and what makes them so wind resistant. So here is a look at the Gus Buster umbrella design, which is incorporated into all of their umbrellas that they offer. And on the exterior of the umbrella here, it pretty much looks like most umbrellas. Some of them offer two canopy designs, same with Gus Buster here. You can see it's held down with these elastic straps. But when you look at the bottom of the umbrella, this is where you can see the Gus Buster design. So you have the top canopy, which you can see from the shadow on the top there, but the bottom canopy here has these raindrop hole cutouts. So how this design works is first off with a normal umbrella with a single canopy design, when the wind pushes the underside of the umbrella, it acts as a sail, very similar to sailing ships and why they work quite well. Not so much for an umbrella though. All that pressure has to go somewhere, so it either inverts or the arms break because they just can't handle the pressure from the wind. Now with the gust buster design, how it relieves that wind pressure is the wind goes underneath the umbrella, goes through these raindrop hole cutouts on each of these panels and exits underneath the secondary canopy that's still held on with these elastic straps. And that is how this umbrella relieves that pressure from the wind so that it doesn't invert or break in half or anything in between like that. So thanks to this design, these umbrellas are rated at 55 plus mile per hour winds, which is pretty astonishing for an umbrella and probably why Gus Buster has their slogan as the one you buy once. All right, so this is just a quick voiceover of some video clips I shot during the winter. I managed to find a super windy day, which you can tell from the waves in the river, the trees moving, and just the wind noise from hitting the mic. And uh, it was a super windy day, which I thought was perfect to finally test out and record some video clips of the Gus Buster. So the first video clip that I have here is just a normal umbrella. I picked it up from uh, Hudson's Bay for like 20, 30 bucks. So it wasn't like the cheapest umbrella out there, but a pretty decent quality one. And although it did a fantastic job at protecting one from the rain, as you guys can see here, it didn't really take much effort for the wind to pretty much invert the umbrella instantaneously. Now the next clip that we have here is the Metro umbrella. And you can see I'm struggling a little bit in holding the Metro umbrella in place just because the wind was so strong and you could actually feel the umbrella kind of like acting as a sail and trying to push you over. Uh, but it held in place and stayed intact. Now the uh, last clip that I have here is of the classic umbrella. This one shows the best with the Gus Buster design. You can see the winds trying to push the umbrella, trying to invert it, but the raindrop cutouts from under, underneath the umbrella is letting all or most of that wind go through and out the second canopy so that it relieves that pressure and ensures that the umbrella doesn't invert. So that is the Gus Buster design. Very unique, very simple, yet very effective. And I've been using their umbrellas for the last, uh, well, since I reviewed them five or six years ago. They still work, none of them have broken on me. Um, there's a couple obviously that I have for my favorites, but uh, now let's check out each of the models that they offer. So the first umbrella that we're gonna check out here is the one we just saw, and that is the Gus Buster Metro. So the Metro lineup from Gus Buster is their most compact size umbrella. It has a 43 inch canopy, so it's most ideal for one person, uh, but just great choice for those of you who are looking for something compact, easy to carry, or just something that isn't going to take up a lot of space in your car, in your bag, anywhere where you just want something that is compact yet durable. The Metro umbrella does feature this very strong carbon steel stem, as well as arms and fiberglass tips. 
And as you guys saw, it does have a button on the bottom here for an automatic open. Now the Metro, as well as all Gustbuster umbrellas, does come with a very nice protective color matching sleeve. In this case, it's a navy blue. And speaking about colors, the Metro is available in a multitude of different colors for those of you who aren't a fan of blue or just want something lighter. Um, this also is the only model with the sleeve that has a kind of nylon strap to it. So it makes it very easy to carry. And you can also adjust it with this little plastic knob here. Now we're not done with the Metro lineup yet. The next one that we got here is Gus Buster's LTD model, which is basically the Metro model with some nice premium features. So this one here is in black, which you can obviously tell from the sleeve. Same sleeve as the original Metro model. Let's just take this off, push it off to the side. So the first upgrade you can see here is that it's got a very nice wooden handle. Now a new feature that Gus Buster introduced recently is personalized engraving. So this sample that they have here, it's engraved onto a uh, brass plate and you can put your name, a company name, or whatever that may fit in between the lines and it will be riveted onto the handle of the umbrella. In this case here, it's brass and it's an actual engravement. It's not printed on, so it's something that's not gonna wear off or anything like that anytime soon. So it's a pretty nice feature. It's included with the umbrella uh, if it's offered on that particular model, uh, but the LTD model here is obviously offered in this very nice brass finish. All right, so let's check out the inside of this umbrella here of the LTD model. All Gustbuster umbrellas do include not one, but two velcro straps to keep it in place and unlike the metro which is automatic open this also automatically opens like so as well as closes so a very very handy feature to open the umbrella and of course easily close it And checking out the inside of the LTD model, again, pretty much similar to the Metro model. Uh, one minor difference is that all the metal components are painted black rather than having it bare metal. So it doesn't really do a whole lot for functional purposes, but makes it look a little bit nicer and premium. Now the price difference between the LTD model as well as the Metro isn't really that big. So between the two, I would recommend spending a little bit extra for the LTD model because you don't just get automatic open, but also automatic close. And the wooden handle here certainly looks a little bit nicer. Anyways, that is the Gus Buster LTD model. All right, so let's move up a size and that is Gus Buster's classic model. So this one here has a 48 inch canopy, a little bit larger than the Metro series but uh, not too huge like the Gulf series. So the one that we got here is in a navy blue, just like the first Metro umbrella. It does come with a protective sleeve. We'll just slide this thing off. So the classic series is called a classic for a reason. You got that traditional cane style handle made of wood, which is pretty nice. Has a really nice matte finish to it and kind of a matching brown finish on the top here with this uh, brass plating. Just like the LTD model with the classic umbrella here, you can also get an optional engraving as well. The nice thing about this one here is that the plate's actually embedded into the handle, which I think looks a little bit nicer. Um, I believe you can also get this in silver too, but the brass definitely sticks out and matches with the brass uh, trim on the top of the classic umbrella too. So it's optional, but great choice if you want to have your umbrella a little bit more personalized. All right, so let's open this one up, see what it looks like. Should be automatic open. That was quick. So take a closer look at the classic umbrella. It's a little bit different in regards to the rib and arm design. The material is made of fiberglass versus metal. So it gives it a much lighter feeling to it. So it's not as heavy, which is a good thing for a larger umbrella. Some other minor details, the arm here is painted brown to I guess kind of mimic the wood handle. And the tips of the umbrella too, which you can see there, are also brown as well. Aside from that, everything else is pretty much the same with the classic patented Gus Buster raindrop canopy design. And that is the Gus Buster classic umbrella. The next umbrella that we got from Gus Buster is their most famous one and that is their Pro Series Gold umbrella also known as their golf umbrella. Now the Pro Series Gold umbrellas also offer an additional feature and that is you can actually get customized logos imprinted on the umbrella. So this one here is on the sleeve, but also it's on the umbrella canopy. So this is a really good option for those of you who want a unique way of promoting a business or a program service or whatever like that. Um, here is the actual 
golf umbrella. It's available in both a 62 and 68 inch canopy size. Here's a closer look at the actual logo here. So again, you can have this printed on the sleeve as well as the umbrella. And it's also a very high quality print as well. Now with the golf umbrella, as you can see, you can get a little bit more funky with the uh, color options and designs. So this one here is a combination of a navy and red. Obviously there's a whole bunch of other options as well. Uh, the golf umbrellas do have this ergonomic rubberized handle. It's not as fancy as the uh, wooden handles, but still more than adequate for holding your umbrella. All right, so let's open this one up here now. Because of its size, there's no automatic open or close. It's all manual, but very easy to open. Now this is their 68 inch model, which is huge, more than enough for a group of people to shelter underneath here. And it's so big that I can't even fit this umbrella in the field of view on the camera. So I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. So here's what the Pro Series Gold umbrella looks like. You can see it's huge. Really like the uh, dual color design, which of course you can get in a few other different combinations. Here's a closer look at the logo. Again, it's just the Gus Buster logo, but you can put whatever, pretty much whatever you like on here. Very high quality printout, very detailed as well. Um, for those of you who just wanna buy one of these umbrellas for yourself, you don't have to uh, get a logo for it. You can leave that off. But of course, it's a really nice way to promote a business service charity program, whatever you're trying to do with walking around with an umbrella. Here's a quick look at the inside here. Forgot to mention that the logos, they're not just printed on one spot. You can actually print it on all the way around the umbrella. So it definitely grabs the attention of anyone around you. But here's a look at the inside here. Again, pretty much the same as you saw with the other two umbrellas. Classic Gus Buster raindrop design. All fiberglass arms, so it helps with the weight as well as strength. And honestly, it's been a while since I've had an umbrella with a dual color panel design. It actually looks pretty neat, very attractive, and the brighter colors are also great for those of you who uh, do a lot of uh, nighttime walking as it helps you uh, be a little bit more spotted at night. So that is the Gus Buster Pro Series Gold Umbrella. All right, so we're almost done here. The second last umbrella that we have here is Gus Buster's Sunblock model. So this is pretty much identical to the Pro Series Gold, except it's got this really nice sunblock layer on the outer canopy. So the Sunblock is definitely one of my favorite umbrellas out of the entire lineup, just because it's got such a cool feature. And on top of that, because it's got this silver finish on the top, again, for those of you who are walking at night, this is something that's easily that one can be easily spotted with, especially for drivers on the road. So this is the Sunblock model for the Pro Series Gold. It's also available on the Metro as well as the Classic model. So if you want this feature on the smaller umbrellas, that is also an option as well. Basically what the Sunblock model does is that it blocks out the sun. So although the Sunblock feature doesn't seem like a big deal by any means, it really does make a difference. For example, after a thunderstorm rolls by, the humidity picks up, sometimes the sun will come out and you can feel the sun just beating down on your umbrella and the heat going right through the canopy. And that's largely because pretty much all umbrellas have a very thin uh, canopy design. With a sunblock model here, it's got a coating on it to help reflect the sun rays back out into the atmosphere. So basically what that does is that even though it doesn't make a huge temperature difference, at least you don't have the heat and the sun beating down on you and makes you feel a little bit cooler. So here's a quick look underneath the sunblock model. Really like the all black feature and contrasting it with the silver finish on the top. So aesthetically, I think it's a pretty cool looking umbrella, uh, but that's basically how it works is that it's got a nice sunblock coating on the outside of the umbrella to keep you a little bit cooler underneath. And that is the sunblock umbrella from Gus Buster. All right, last but not least, and that is Gus Buster's Dorman umbrella. This is basically the classic umbrella that I showed you guys a few minutes earlier, except in a golf umbrella size. So this one here is in black, which is my favorite color for an umbrella next to the sunblock model. Comes in a protective sleeve like all Gus Buster umbrellas come with. Two Velcro straps that hold it in place and a very nice wooden cane style handle, just like the classic model. And also just like the classic model, you can also get this in a very nice personalized engraving. Now, just like the golf umbrellas, because of its size, it is manual open. So you just press the plastic clip down. Very easy to open up. And when you're done, pulls easily down like so. 
Now, just like the Pro Series Gold model, this is available in two different sizes, a 62 as well as a 68. Now, aside from the handle, everything else is pretty much the same as the Pro Series Gold model. You still got fiberglass arms, as well as the classic Gustbuster Raindrop 2 canopy design. So for those of you who are looking for something a little bit nicer than the golf umbrella, the Dorman umbrella is certainly a nice step up. And that is the Gustbuster Dorman umbrella. Overall guys, what do I think about Gustbuster umbrellas? Well, like I mentioned, I've been using these for the last five or six years, so I definitely have some very in-depth experience with them. Like any umbrella, they can protect you from rain, but if you want something that isn't going to embarrass you during a rainfall or a thunderstorm, then the Gustbuster is one that you can definitely depend on. Thanks to the Raindrop 2 canopy design that Gustbuster has in their umbrellas, they really do work and resist wind damage. Now you can find many videos of Gustbuster umbrellas being tested in a wind tunnel. Some of them have been tested on a moving car. As someone who experienced actual thunderstorms and really windy conditions with a Gustbuster, both with the Metro model as well as the Sunblock model, which have been two main umbrellas that have been uh, the ones I've been using the most, they work, they haven't broken, and I still have all the older models that I've reviewed five years ago. In conclusion guys, if you're looking for an umbrella that isn't going to embarrass you during a thunderstorm and you want something that you're gonna buy and never have to worry about replacing for the next several years, you definitely can't go wrong with the Gustbuster umbrella. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments about the Gustbuster lineup of umbrellas, let me know in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all in the next video.